Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead with an herbal tea break. This is a raspberry hibiscus herbal tea with a, an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger, the juice of a whole orange because I'm out of lemons, and a big dollop of homestead honey and mixed all with boiling water. Yes, I have a chest cold. And I've been teasing, I have been teasing Howie about the neti pot, and I'm really grateful I used it because it stopped my cold from going up into my sinuses, so I don't have the head cold. Um, but I have the chest cold. And Briar got it, Briar had it over the Christmas holidays, then Howie got it. <coughs> no, I have it. So I'm just medicating, self-medicating with herbal tea and... I can't smoke my mer my medication, so I have to eat edibles, which makes me useless for the entire day. But that's not what this video is about, other than letting you know that I'm sick this week, and, and I've been trying... Oh, and my power was out yesterday, so my Gracie bed video didn't get uploaded till yesterday afternoon because I had no internet. So anyway, um, now that the holidays are over, a lot of my mail is coming in. Because mail gets really bogged down over the holidays with parcels and stuff. And I want to say a special thank you to Crystal who from Florida who sent me all those pecans. Holy cow, that made a huge difference with my baking. I was able to make snowballs for everybody. I put pecans in my rocky road. I it was just it was just really awesome. Pecans in my butterscotch squares. So thank you so so very much, Crystal. And also, yesterday, I got um, a Christmas card came by uh, from a friend named Brock. And Brock, I'll give you a, a little uh, rundown. Brock sent me some ornaments for my tree. And these are all made with plastic canvas. There's one wreath. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? There's one little wreath, and then there's three angels. Okay? And these angels, they're just beautiful. And they're they're marked to someone special. And these are called uh, she has a Facebook page called A Thousand Angels Movement on Facebook. And what let me see if I understand this right. Uh, I've, uh, they're part of a special project that I just started a few years ago as an outreach to others all over. Called it the Thousand Angels Movement and created a Facebook page for it too. Um, and what happens is these get sent out to say, uh, soldiers, soldiers overseas, um, who are away from home for the holidays. They can have these and then they can bring them home and put them on their trees when they come home. Aren't these adorable? Aren't these adorable? Anyway, uh, Brock, thank you so very much. These are getting put away with my ornaments. Yes, my tree is still up. I got most of the breakables, or no, I got most of the unbreakables off of it and I've got to finish... I've got to finish on decorating it. Brock, thank you so very much. Every one of these homemade ornaments or ornaments that people send when they think of me adds such a beautiful dimension to my tree. You know, I can't look at my tree without feeling loved. You know what I mean? So thank you so very much. Now, the last thing I got in the mail yesterday, and I'd like to... <laughs> Somebody, because there's no name on the box, but it came from Amazon, somebody sent me a cane. And if you look, it's got bingo paraphernalia all over it. That's kind of cool, eh? Now, this is really awesome because I used to have a cane and it got broken. Um, I think my son used it for some. I don't know what, what happened to it, but I know it got broken. But my walker is really hard to maneuver around the house. And my biggest problem is getting up from a sitting position. 
because my knees are bad and my back is bad. And if you see behind me this doorway, a lot of times I'll sit here looking at the doorway going, okay, I know I got to get up, but it's going to be painful. Yesterday, when the, after this came, I just hooked it on the door jam and used it to help me up like I could pull. And then I was able to lean on it getting out of my chair. Um, out of my big chair by the TV. So whoever sent me this awesome cane, thank you very much. Now I had, it. Th there's a little bit of a story behind this. Yesterday, in the throes of this chest cold, it's much, much better today thanks to a lot of herbal, hot herbal tea with honey and ginger and, and citrus. Um, but I was feeling really, really crappy yesterday. And... Uh, when you when you live in chronic pain all the time it's one thing to get sick everybody gets sick everybody gets the chest cold or head cold or gets the flu occasionally and that's enough to drive you into the ground like on your worst day of your cold or flu it's enough to drive you in the ground when you live with chronic pain you just wish somebody would nail the lid closed. You know <laughs> what I mean? <coughs> because so much of your energy is used up functioning. Functioning while you, while you live with chronic pain. That when something normal comes along like a cold or the flu. It's like, it's like you just don't want to. To move it, it, it's almost impossible to deal with so when this came I was feeling really sorry for myself when this cane showed up yesterday I was thinking geez you know just throw dirt over me stick a fork at me I'm, I'm so done and uh, this cane came in the mail so it was almost like it was almost like I was given a sign that just because this cane is a good thing for me to use, it doesn't mean I have to give up. I just have to use new tools. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, no, I can't do as much as I used to when I first started this channel. But am I going to quit? Absolutely not. Thank you so much for all your love and support, and I hope everybody has a wonderful, happy, happy, healthy, and prosperous 2017. All right? I'll see you in a couple of days when I'm better. Take care. God bless.